Yo, what is up, bros? This is Abrumanati back with some Panzer Corps. It's been a while since I've thrown down some gameplay on this. We had wrecked Poland, the Lowlands, and France, and we were prepared now for Operation Sea Lion. Due to your lightning successes in the Low Countries and France, an opportunity to invade England is in our hands. Nice. An opportunity, Herr General, you must turn into yet another victory. Although most of the British expeditionary force escaped at Dunkirk, they were forced to leave behind much of their heavy equipment, so you can expect little armored resistance. So strike swiftly, as we predict you will have mere weeks to secure your objectives before the water of the English Channel becomes too rough for our barges and transport craft. You must crush all resistance before the supply lines are cut and our troops become easy prey. Churchill has promised to fight on the beaches, in the fields and in the streets. Show them the foolishness of such defiance. Absolutely, I'll show them the foolishness. Okay, um... Decisive victory, capture objective with at least five turns remaining. All right, bros, here it is. We've got to capture London, which I'm sure is going to be a pain in the ass. Got a few other points we've got to capture. I've played this twice, uh, the first two rounds, to try to get an idea of what the hell's going on. And um, what I have learned is... The British have a pretty substantial navy, and they've got a pretty substantial air force. So I'm going to try something different this time around than I did the first two test runs. I'm going to uh, keep my units towards the back until I clear out some of their navy. I've had these units with me for a long time. I don't want to lose them. I've upgraded them. They've got perks. I'm going to try not to lose any of them. Probably will end up losing some of them. As long as it's not like my good tanks, I'm cool with it. A couple infantry units that I've had along the way since Poland I can lose. Just don't take my tanks. Damn, the navy just hammered the crap out of me. But at least they're shooting at my navy and uh, not my land unit. Well, mostly not my land units. Round two. Oh, a sub does no damage to a battleship. That's interesting. I kind of thought the uh, sub was like the kryptonite of the battleship. So, like I said, when I had tested this out, I had tried to land in a couple different spots and... Uh, their navy was just absolutely wrecking my units before they ever got to shore. So I think right in this area, kind of in between the two navies of theirs, is the best spot to tr attempt a landing. I'm not too optimistic about the decisive victory. Something tells me that's probably not going to happen. Maybe if I played all the way through it once, um, the second time around I, I might be able to do it. But not the first time. I don't know why I haven't played this in so long. I actually... I actually really enjoyed, like, the... Um, the Poland one, the Lowlands one wasn't so great. I enjoyed the the French ones. I think I'm going to enjoy this British one. Possibly if I can get landed without all my units dying. I 
Okay, check us out. We're starting... We're starting to get to shore. If I could manage to tank down one of their planes, that'd be awesome. Uh, yeah. If that was my plane and I just got shot at by three fighters, I would or two fighters in a anti-aircraft, I would I would be dead. Not the AI. They can shrug that shit right off. I think my navy got the upper hand now, though. Uh, yeah. Throw down another fighter. Their capital ships are. Capital ships are a pain in the ass. Rip. Oh, take a sixer. Nice, a little bit of an award. Thank you, bros. Fall from Yager. Mm -hmm. I can. Amazing. I took down a plane. Did you see that? Did you see me take down that plane? That was amazing. Yeah, I can't wait to s can't wait to see what joys await me in London. Uh, sub does no damage to a uh, battleship or heavy cruise. I don't even know what the hell that is. All I know is that my sub's doing no damage to it and I'm calling bullshit. There. Successful landing. And we got their navy on the run. train they had a damn armored train get wrecked it's amazing I want an armored train hmm <laughs> nice bro Okay. 
Nice no damage. Boma took our first little city. Uh, all right, I'm starting to see some stuff. Not too bad yet. I don't know how bad the armored train's gonna be to take out. I need to get my other anti-aircraft to land. Just about got everybody landed. Damn, that don't look good. The dual ar artillery. Round seven. There we go. I was under the understanding that the 88 anti-aircraft gun, while great against tanks as it was, was also a pretty badass anti-aircraft gun. Apparently not the ones I got. I guess the ones I got came out of a... Uh, some shit, I don't know. Some slave labor designed to shoot planks. Oh, get wrecked, armored train. Just not wanting to go against London. I have to get my artillery in there before I attack too much. Actually, I think I could probably take out what they got left of an Air Force. I doubt it all heals. I had a couple of them almost dead. I doubt they healed them completely up. I wonder what buff the... the radar facilities... Boom! Get wrecked! I wonder what buff the radar facilities give. I would imagine some type of buff to their air combat. Maybe that's why I couldn't take them out very easy. Maybe they were getting a buff from the radar stations. That would that would actually make sense. Although I don't like it too. I guess no time like now to attack London. Why do we... I don't understand something, and maybe some of you bros that play this more than I do can. Like, what's up with these bombers? Sometimes they won't bomb. Like, there's no thing on it that says it's out of ammo, it just won't bomb. Same with the fighter. Sometimes you can roll up on somebody and it won't even give you the, uh, the sights that come up. Like, you can fire upon them.
Rip. Yeah, that's right. Run, anti-air. Oh, it took out your tank. And got you on the run. Nice! Another plane goes down. Royal Air Force gets bested by Garing's Luthwapa. Wreck that. Yeah, definitely I am saying unless something absolutely insane happens, decisive victory ain't happening. We're gonna be going for the marginal at best victory. Wasn't there another I thought there was another ship up there? Day number 10 of Operation Sea Lion. I wish ships could do a little bit more damage to infantry units. Do they even suppress them? I, d I haven't even been paying attention. You would think a naval bombardment would at least suppress the enemy. Noise! Look at us just taking London over. We've got, we've got the south of London. So, all right. After I take London, I need to send bros to the northeast. I need to send bros to the west. I'm kind of the northwest and southwest. Just break off half the force and send them west, I guess. Bars. Look at them, they're just giving up territory now. I guess there is no suppression. Oh, there is. All right, cool. I was thinking there should be. Any time you need an Air Force unit to take off one health, it, it can never do it. I think the game's set up that way, so you don't, you rarely, if ever, get kill shots on ground units with Air Force. But if you notice, what happened to the uh, Royal Air Force? Got them bitches on the run. You don't mess with Poor Mon Garing's Luthwaffe. Oh, here it is. Now... Rip. Just as I said that... Royal Air Force comes back. Royal Air Force gets wrecked. Another city falls. We need to pick up the pace or we ain't even going to get this done with a victory at all. How, how embarrassing would that be? I've never failed an Operation Sea Line in my all, in my own life. I'm not about to start failing.
All right, we have just captured central London. My elite unit. And some more mountain divisions. You know, for the mountains of England. I just find that they're the best all-around infantry unit, I think. I don't know what you guys that play this all the time do, so maybe I'm wrong. Rip my tank. Um, but... From what I've seen in my sh in my short play time, seem to be the best infantry unit all around infantry unit. My brothers are getting award after award. Although it pisses me off I lost that tank. That hurts. Who knows, that tank might have been with me since Poland. Alright, my elite tank is like elite trash. Give me some elite action. Well, you know, really, London wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. Rip. See, like right there. I can't bomb? What, what happened to my cargo? At a... At a you know, shitload of bombs. What happened to them all? If I don't have any more, let me know. I'll restock. Just don't even let me know. I just can't bomb. Well, that officially clears London. London is officially cleared. the navy doesn't do much damage it does seem to get suppression a lot of the time With that, um, the decisive victory is out. Got the Luftwaffe and Luftwaffe ground troops ruling the skies. Nice. Nice six damn damage. That sucks. I've been lucking out with the decisive victories. I feel like a failure.
Day 16. Navy stepping it up. Donuts. Well done. He had heard about all Garin was doing, had to step up his game. Nobody wants to be shown up by Garin's fat ass. Bro's up here hanging on for dear life. What's up, Royal Air Force? What's up, Royal Navy? I've seen better royal on some crown royal. I've seen better royal on some clash royale. I've seen better royal on some... some... Oh, nice! Thought they were hanging on, they decided just to give up. The end is near. Hopefully, we're about out of time. Nice. My troops just all of a sudden got super elite. After sucking for most of the first half. They're just like, you know what, we're done sucking. We want to be good. We're going to show out like we did in France. All right, well, if we don't get it done here, I guess it's start over. We've done it. Everything is taken that we needed. A boom with the weak ass marginal victory. You accomplished an impressive feat, but unfortunately, it was not enough. Uh, how is taking London not enough? That seems like it would probably be enough. Without a secure foothold in Britain, we took London! How is that not secure enough? Our invasion has faltered. Already, we have received intelligence of an imminent counterattack. And our only option is to evacuate our forces before the Stormy Channel traps us here. So I did that whole thing for nothing. I took London for nothing. Take heart, Herr General. In all honesty, I did not truly expect you to be as successful as you have proven to be. We have bloodied the British on their doorstep and we are still well regarded by high command. I don't understand that. Anyways, bros, with that, I'm going to be wrapping this up. If you are enjoying this content, you know, do slap the like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will be seeing you back here for our next upload. Peace. Ruminati out.